Okay, hey, how you doing? This is Mike Crandall, a gastric bypass video blog number 27, 27, 27. I guess we're having a sale. Um, in a way, uh, interesting, actually, the last uh, couple days. Last night I attended um, the one month education class, although it's only been three and a half weeks, um, for my gastric bypass, as well as a uh, support group for people who have had gastric bypass. And uh, a couple of the really interesting things came up. Um, number one was which, before, cla before the um, class, they actually weigh you on these scales that are pretty cool. Um, we step a little bit away from the road here so you can hear me. Um, okay, yeah, I'm waiting for my bus. Uh, one thing I'm doing, by the way, is getting off a bus stop earlier so I walk a little bit more to get extra um, steps in every day. Uh, you have to think about things like that. I could get off a bus stop right outside my door in my office, but, you know, I need the extra uh, walking. Um, anyway, I was talking about the scale. You step on the scale, and um, you have to have your shoes and socks off because it not only measures your weight, it measures your body fat ratios and other things. Um, so the weight, um, 312 is what it's showing as right now. Uh, not bad considering I started at about 360. Uh, don't, I, I want to be real clear because, you know, I, sitting in that um, support group in class, it's obvious not everybody has these kind of um, uh, weight loss figures, although everybody had significant weight loss. And so for different people, I understand it's different times, different, you know, some of them go through different phases where they drop faster, where they drop slower. Don't be frustrated if you're doing this and you haven't lost it all as, you know, or as much as quickly. I know there will probably be plat times where I plateau. Um, that became clear from listening to other people's experiences. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, so I stood on the scale, the scale that you take your shoes and socks off for, and it measures your weight and body mass. Um, stuff and everything. Well, one of the really fascinating things was two weeks ago on February 2nd, my body mass showed as about 56 point something of uh, my body weight. As of February 15th, it was 43% of my body weight. Um, and I showed in a significant increase in muscle as well. So all of the walking and other things, as well as eating right and pounding the proteins in the uh, water, is uh, absolutely doing the job. So I encourage you, do all of that. Another thing that was really fascinating was listening to other people. Um, we had several people. One of the guys who was in the hospital the same day I was had been taking six shots of insulin a day for his diabetes and since the operation has only had to have one shot of di um, insulin and that was while he was in the hospital. So since he has been checked out of the hospital three weeks ago, three plus weeks ago, he hasn't had to have a single shot of insulin. So that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, another thing that was really interesting last night was attending the support group uh, with my wife. When in the support group I shared, a, I think I mentioned during the video uh, on, on Valentine's Day, I went to um, Kenny G with my wife, loved it. But one of the things that was always frustrating to me about going to concerts and stuff is I was never sure if I was actually going to fit in the chairs. And it was incredibly, incredibly embarrassing when I couldn't. I remember feeling, you know, how bad I felt trying to get into chairs and realizing I w it wasn't going to happen. I was going to end up standing along the wall or asking for special accommodation. Well. You know, I did realize exactly how much emotionally that had impacted me because when I was sharing the story about going to the Kenny G concert uh, with these other people who have been going through this experience, I actually broke up a little bit and that really surprised me because this is, must have been hitting a hard, you know, tone with me. But you're going to have things like that. You know, great victories, um, finding out you've got some emotions tied into this whole situation and uh, all that. Well, I'm going to have to catch you later, okay? Bye.